Okay, Jimmy, uh, here it is. I got the motor in, and uh, I have it lined up with the two bearings. We just need the shaft and the chuck plate now, but here's the motor. And uh, that coupling that I bought is attached to the end of it here. It fits on the shaft nice. Okay, and the motor has a little power controller that needs a 12-volt power supply, which is a cheap thing, like a wall wart power supply. But anyway, it's got this... Uh, adjustment here so you turn it on like so and you have speed control over it and uh, it's just a matter of being able to control it uh, slowly enough so I don't know how slow you want it it probably is going to go and the coupling's loose here because I don't have the other shaft on it yet here, I'll, here you can see it turning now So I don't know if you need it a lot slower than that or what. This is almost at the slowest end of what it'll do. It, you can stop it, but then you can... That's about as slow as it'll turn right there. So that might be uh, something to deal with. But then when the when the plate's on it, that's going to load it down. So that'll slow it, slow it down too. In other words, when it's trying to move something, it's going to slow it down. So anyway, that's the way it is right now.